He hasn't been returning kicks all season, but in early October, Chad Owens returned six punts for 103 yards when the Panthers topped South Dakota while on the road. Coach Mark Farley said he was the team's player of the game as his returns in the punt and kickoff game helped swing the field position in the Panthers' favor during some crucial moments. It might be no surprise, but Eric Braley is going to show us how this senior is doing everything in his power to help the Panther football team succeed. A threat to hurt opponents with his big punt returns or hauling in touchdowns from his wide receiver position, senior wide receiver Chad Owens is finding multiple ways to contribute to this year's Panther football team. Last year, Chad led the Panthers with 60 receptions during the 2013 campaign, but he wasn't content with his play, so he focused a lot of attention on his strength and route running during the offseason to ensure even better results in 2014. As a receiver, I mean, there's always things you can work on. I uh, really focus on the weight room this offseason in the winter, and then uh, in the summer, I just focus on route running and drills, you know, because I think to be a good receiver, and, you know, be a really good receiver and you know, have a good routes and that's key to get open in this game. He's gotten a lot faster, I think, over the summer. He's worked a lot harder. He's fought some battles on injuries, but he's always overcome them. And so that's always, you know, special and promising to have a guy that can overcome injuries and, you know, show up on Saturdays ready to play. Chad's father, Scott, was a wide receiver for the Panthers from 1982 to 85. Just like his father, Chad brings a lot of versatility to the Panther offense is he can line up almost anywhere on the field. He's different because uh, Chad can play both inside and outside, and um, he's very quick, very shifty, and he's very, very smart. He, uh, he knows exactly uh, where to be and how to get there on time, adjust to how the linebackers and safeties drop. You know, Chad can do a lot of positions. You know, he's played inside, outside. You know, he's come in the backfield, ran the ball, gotten option, you know, plays like that. Chad, uh, you know, last year with Brett being down, um, he had to play more outside. And he's, he's definitely better suited and has a, a great skill set for playing inside, but he got a lot of work outside on the edges last year. I think that was really good for him. You know, helped him learn um, kind of the total package and see the whole picture of what we're trying to do in the pass game. Um, and, and he brings just a ton of experience. He's played probably just as much, if not more, football as, as anybody on this team. You know, I just like, uh, getting first downs for us, you know, try to make the big play. And, you know, that's one thing I want to improve on this year is, you know, trying to make the big plays and, you know, kind of sparking our team a little bit. Being a former quarterback in high school, Chad is able to read defenses and can usually find the open spot on the field. This is a big advantage for his quarterback, who's always looking to get him the ball. Chad being a former quarterback, it's huge for him and, uh, and it helps us a lot because he sees things through a quarterback's eyes. Um, you know, he, he lines up in the slot. He can look out there and see what coverage they're in. He knows how defenses are going to try and play against him just based on where they're lined up. Um, and, and a lot of times that takes a lot of experience and he's just got a knack for it. He's very smart. He played quarterback, so he knows a lot of defenses. He can recognize a lot of things. So we can do a lot of stuff where, you know, he might have a different option to do something and he'll always pick the right one. So I think that's what makes him dangerous is how knowledgeable he is. Just having that little thread over the middle and everything, it opens up for us, us outside receivers and everything like that. So it causes a lot of, a lot of shifting and everything like that. And, you know, us doing our jobs on the outside, you know, it causes a lot of, you know, defenses to adjust and popping Chad open in the middle, you know, it, it all pays off in our benefit. Chad also led the team with five touchdown receptions in 2013. His attitude to do everything perfect will likely lead him to even more trips to the end zone during his final senior season. Oh, he's just so technical with everything he does. You know, he always wants to do everything exactly perfect, exactly right. and. It's just really helped him out with his time through his time here, you know. And so now it's to the point where he's almost, per, uh, almost perfect in everything he does. So that just makes him a great player, and he's just always fun to be around, and always positive in the locker room.